We have um, the owner of uh, Gianelli's Drive Through. This is a uh, this is a a business up in Illinois that's been in business for a long time. Terry Trob- uh, Trobani, Trob- Trobiani is uh, the owner of it, and he's just been cited for flying the American flag. The city doesn't like the fact that he has has flags out front, and he's not going to stop flying the American flag. Terry, welcome to the program. Good morning, Glenn. Glad to be here. Yeah, thank you. So so what exactly is going on in your town? They, they told you to take well, down your, your flag and your your blue line flag, right? Why? Well, it's very interesting. Um, well, very interesting. Um, we've been we've been fighting. I'm not going to get into the past history, but the, the city is, has restrictions on temporary uh, flags, banners, uh, A-frames, feather banners. They don't want any kind of signage blowing in front of your property, which, you know, for a small business, that's actually, that's what you need to promote your business. So what happened on the 4th of July weekend was I had an A-frame sign out saying that here's the name of the restaurant. Uh, we have drive through carry out, dine in our phone number. And behind that, I had a row of American flags. It was the 4th of July weekend. So at the same time, we were, we were requesting a variance on our A-frame. Well, the village went in and obviously denied it five to nothing and, because they don't want anything. So I left the American flags out because according to their ordinance, uh, the American flag is ornamental. And as long as you're flying the flags during a national or federal holiday, uh, ornamentation should be permitted. So I left the flags out. Well, the day after the 4th of July, they walk in, the village administrator walks in. And he says, you know, you might be violating the flag code with the flags. I said, well, why would I be doing that? I read the flag code um, pretty much in compliance. No, he handed me a brochure, and I could quickly, just two sentences, said you might be violating these two areas. The flags are being dis- are, should be displayed only on permanent flagpoles or staff specifically constructed for flag display. <laughs> and secondly, flagpoles should be within 15 feet of the curb. And I said, okay, well, I read that I'm not in violation. He said, maybe you should read them again. I said, I'm pretty intelligent. Um, those are one sentences. I interpreted them. I'm not in violation. Well, the next morning, the police officer walked in, handed me two tickets and said, the flags need to come out of the ground. I asked for an explanation. No one gave me an explanation. Read the brochure that the village administrator brought in. I said, okay, we're going through this again. I can read. Apparently what's happened here is, and I could not immediately decipher it from the letter that they gave me, but apparently what's happened is that the village of Prairie Grove has classified the American flag as a sign. And have taken away the symbol of the American flag. So as a sign, it falls under their temporary sign ordinance, which prohibits any flying or any positioning of any signs on your property. So now this includes the American flag. And what they did also in this pamphlet, which, again, I wasn't looking for, but I kind of interpreted later, is the only way that I can fly an American flag on my property is if I put it on a permanent 20 to 30 foot flagpole, which they have to permit. So what they're doing is they're, de- they're denying me my rights under the, under the U.S. flag code and my civil rights acts of being able to fly the American flag any way I want. I should be able to wake up in the morning and say, oh, I'm really having a great day. I'm, I'm going to stick a flag in my front lawn. Nope, I can't do that. I have to put concrete in the floor and build a permanent flagpole. Uh, so now the village is dancing. They're saying, well, we, we love the American flag. We, we, um, we, we never said we can't fly the flag. And my questions back to them were, well, since all this has been going on, no one's come back to me and say, well, maybe we misinterpreted something. Let's put it in the ground. Uh, no one's gone there. What they've done is they gave me two tickets, uh, which I called the village to pay. And the lawyer informed me that they're not going to accept my $200 unless I sign a letter that says I have violated the sign ordinance. And then I sign a subsequent letter, which says I will never, ever in the future I guess as long as I live. When did that? Uh, when when did that policy come in? You're given a ticket. Now you have to. Uh, now you have to do something that Mao had the the Chinese uh, dissidents <laughs> do. I mean, you now have to. I. I guess. I, I guess. I mean, I didn't finish on the subsequent letter, but I, I need to sign that letter. It says I will not ever violate a sign ordinance. And I said, well, who, the sign ordinance that you interpret. Like, why would I sign that? So I said, you know what? Draw that letter up. I'm, I'm inquisitive. Sign the letter up. I'd like to see the verbiage on it. Um, no, we're not going to do that. Uh, you need to agree on the phone now, immediately, to agree to the letter with our attorney, and then we will take the time to put the letter together so you can sign it. Uh, I said, well, uh, no. a, few expletives, a few expletives later, I told him what to do with the letter. So where, where, is, where does this stand now? Well, I mean, I don't understand. This is a little small town, right? 1,904 people. 
Yeah. So is it is it just all crazy uh, lefties that you know look at the flag and say that's just a Republican sign, or 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 yeah. what is going on? I, I didn't think so. Um, you know, I know you've done your homework. This is McHenry County. McHenry County is one of the uh, reddest states in Illinois. I mean, we are we are Trumpers. He won by seven thousand votes out here. Uh, but there are people who go, and I think the case is that they they appear to be independents, and we know where that goes. Uh, so, you know uh, what side what side they're on. I mean, I, I was on a Dana Perino show yesterday, and they she caught whim of my blue flag. And she made a comment. And, and I've had these two flags up. Now they're accusing me that, oh, you're putting the American flag up to draw attention to your business. And my, my response to that was, well, when I, I built this development, and when I built this building on day one, when I opened the doors, I put the American flag on one pole. I put a blue line and red light flag on the other pole. And I had been flying. I had been working this business from day one with the American flag flying outside my establishment. And, and apparently... In July of 2021, I'm now really only doing that to draw business into my business, which is ridiculous. They're they're dancing. Uh, I think they know where they've gone. Uh, they don't care. Uh, yesterday, they, uh, an attorney and a police officer came to my restaurant and tried to tell me that we called to settle the case, and they were there to work on settling with me. And I, I just told the police officer, please ask Gordon out of my business. Uh, we never called you. I'm being represented by an attorney. Uh, tell your attorney if he doesn't know that they should get another attorney. Um, so please take him out of here, walk out, or don't ever talk to me again. And since then, my lawyer has sent them a letter um, explaining that. So they 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 are they don't want any signage, and this is not pertaining to our discussion specifically, but they don't want any signage on the road. I can't put an open sign, a sign that says you know carry out, dine in, drive through. COVID was tough. You know, we're in the restaurant business. COVID was tough on us. Uh, we, we succeeded. We made, we made it through. And we, we, we cut a lot of things. We never cut an employee. We paid all our employees. I didn't take a paycheck for a year to keep our employees online because it was that important to me to keep things going. And, you know, you, you, you fight for a year and you, you beat a pandemic. And then you've got this little municipality with five trustees and a, and a president who just have no respect for small business. And, I, and right now what I see is they have no respect for the Republic and, and the United States going after me with the flag. Uh, I think it's terrible. Our, the direction that government in all levels have taken us to this point is it's despicable. It, it, it's, it's, I, Glenn, I have 25 to 30 phone calls a day from all over the United States. Army vets, uh, you, you name it. People calling me saying, you stick to your guns. Do not let them overrun you. This is the American flag. You fly it proud. You fly it high. Uh, I don't even know these people. And I'm getting calls all day. It's, di- it's disruptive to my business because we run a restaurant, but I love it. I mean, I'm feeding on it. Like, I can't believe these- there's, there's all these people coming out of the woodwork to defend this flag. And it, it's really nice to see that happening on a daily basis. Terry, I appreciate it. We're, uh, we'll watch your story. Tell me where. Uh, tell me w- w- when is the next date of something that's supposed to happen? You go into court, or do you have any idea? Yeah, I have a court. I do. I have a court date. I was given a court date with the tickets. The court date is August twenty fifth at one thirty. They're holding it at the village hall. They're not even bringing it to municipal court. I have to actually go into kangaroo court, uh, where they hire an adjudicatory lawyer who they're going to pay to be a judge. And I said, this is going to be fair, you know. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm walking into. I, I have two tickets. I, I just want to pay them and go away. So I don't even know what I'm going to court for. I mean, I don't, I don't, are they going to reprimand me? Maybe they're going to feather, feather and tire me? I don't know. Um, we'll it's gonna uh, be, it's gonna be, it's gonna we'll be check back with you after the uh, the court hearing. Thanks, Terry. Appreciate it. Okay. All All right. Right. Bye-bye. I appreciate the time. Thank you.